Springdale 270 LE from Keystone RV here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, this is a limited edition series model. You actually see the words limited edition printed right up next to Springdale right there because this is really only available to their high volume dealers. Now you hear a lot from Keystone about your Cougars and your Montanas when in reality Springdale is the champion. They build and sell more Springdales than any other brand at Keystone. Why is that? That's, that's what I want to hit on. In the most competitive, busiest segment of the towable RV industry, Springdale is the one that reigns supreme. Let's take a look at, you know, some of the things that make it stand out. So, uh, you know, power awnings are not uncommon in travel trailers, but I do like to mention uh, them when I see them because they are so much easier to use. I certainly enjoy the one on my camper. And, uh, you know, Springdale has gone a step above here with a full-length LED light strip that does run the entire length of the RV. Now, uh, it's the, it's the fine detail construction points that made me a big Springdale fan and their service record that kept me that way. Um, you know, you see that the, the speakers are surface mounted, meaning they kind of stick out. Why would they do that? Because it does admittedly look a little goofy, but uh, basically what it means is they only need to put like a little, um, just enough of a hole to feed a speaker wire through. They don't have to leave a big four inch hole in their sidewall. It's just one less failure point. While we're looking at the walls, you see the thickness of these aluminum panels. They're usually about 12 to 18 inches thick, except when you get up to the top. They're, they're far, far thinner. Um, the reason they do that is to help counteract heat expansion. You see how thin those two top aluminum bands are. Um, aluminum uh, is uh, going to shrink or expand faster than a lot of other materials. It's a great conductor of uh, heat. And what that means is that if those top bands expand too quickly, too fast, too much, then you run the risk of uh, popping your roof seam and causing a leak. Thinner bands expand less and minimize that potential. That, and that's what you're going to see. You're going to see the folks at Springdale do everything they can to minimize the potential of failure. Um, they'll never fail to show you anything, nothing, no matter how much money you spend, will never fail to show you it's made by human hands, but they do certainly limit those opportunities for failure and you can see it in their service record. Now I don't have the awning all the way out, but you see how this awning arm bends very easily under my hand? That is the pitch adjustment. Uh, that is all it takes to put a pitch to the awning. You just grab it, pull it on one hand. If I remember, and I don't want to make a promise here, uh, I'll try to run the awning out a little further and show you that. This model has an excellent uh, pass-through storage uh, uh, compartment here. This is extremely uh, deep, wide, tall, and what I like about wider baggage doors is that you can actually get like big folding chairs and stuff in there. Um, we have upgraded this to an enclosed underbelly, which is a good time to mention. Not every single 270 LE is going to be equipped exactly the same. Um, not, you know, not even everyone here from Halitz. Now we'll tend to equip them the same, but sometimes due to parts availabilities or backlogs, we will sacrifice one option or the other to get inventory here more quickly because we are a very, very high volume dealership. We are literally the largest independent RV dealer in the state of Michigan, and that is no small feat. We are the only family owned independent dealer in the top 10 of the state. Um, you know, there's, there's a couple big chains in the state and there's Halitz right in the middle of all of it, causing them trouble. That's, that's who we are. Now, you probably noticed this gorgeous full body color package. They are doing just an awesome job dressing these things up down there at Keystone. Um, the, uh, let's see, what was I gonna mention? Oh, there's something out here I was gonna mention and I, it's already left my mind. Oh, well, there's plenty of other things to talk about. Um, just little stuff, like oversized downspouts. You take that for granted and th those are becoming a more and more common thing. And these are nice because they will cut down on the, uh, the black streaks uh, that form on your trailer. Uh, black streaks are actually a black algae. What happens is these campers have a rubberized rubber, uh, uh, roof membrane. Um, when the sun hits that, it promotes the growth of black algae. Totally harmless and just ugly. Well, when it rains, that black algae washes off the roof and runs down the sidewalls, creating black streaks. That's why you need a strong antibacterial cleanser to get rid of those, because it's an algae. Um, the, uh, they've updated this model with two key things that really set it over the top for me because now there is nothing else exactly like this floor plan. There are certainly similar models, but there is not a hard duplicate of this anywhere that I have seen. 
Keep in mind, we don't carry every trailer, but we do carry eight of the top 10 best-selling travel trailers, this being one of those. Um, we have uh, the little college kid mini fridge out here to keep a couple drinks on hand. They do leave us a good shelf right here just for extra stuff outside like flashlights and, and lighters and all that. Now, it's kind of cool with their outside kitchens. They have twin little extending countertops that pop out of each side of this little um, cook station so that you can uh, you know you actually get good usable countertop space we have the uh, the little mini sink as well as a little cooker here so you can do some outside grilling and have a good time we're looking at wide stance stability axles these help keep the uh, the tail from wagging the dog so that the trailer isn't wiggling so much behind your vehicle also there they allow for greater independent um, uh, up down of each tire variance that's the word i'm looking for it's early yet and i'm you know hey it just takes a minute to get me up to speed i haven't had enough caffeine in me yet today but uh the whole point of this is that it's going to give you a smoother better ride that's easier to handle um little stupid stuff but i have to point it out in this class having a, a stovetop hood that does exhaust heat outside is not uh standard it's not uncommon but uh, the people who sell against Springdale every day, they leave out the little stuff like that, um, you know, to save a dollar or two here and there. And, you know, those dollars or two add up, but it also means that you're not getting as much value and usage out of your coach. Now, this is sweet. Indoor, outdoor, flat screen TV station. The entire swing arm itself actually removes from the interior so that while you're out here, you can have this thing angled wherever you want to face wherever you want. Coincidentally, that same function, that be uh, that ability to twist the TV whichever direction you want, um, persists inside the coach so that you get a good view from the slide out. This is neat. I'm going to throw this door and it won't smash the side of the trailer. You see how close we are to the side of the trailer. I can hit this thing and it won't hit the trailer. It doesn't fling shut. This is a friction sprung door. You have to get very friendly with this on purpose for it to try to slam shut and you see that even that isn't possible the whole idea here is twofold first of all if there's a wind whipping outside your door is not going to slam into the side of the trailer now if you want to leave your door open this little corner down here is kind of sharp this is a bunkhouse so there's kids running around that corner is now out of the way where uh, you know your son or daughter or grandkids are not going to take a chunk out of their shoulder or their cheek or their forehead um, <laughs> I've got a nephew that he cannot look and walk in the same direction at the same time. He's one of the most accident prone, sweet little boys I've ever seen. But unfortunately, he just, he has that one problem. Um, so, you know, that that's something that really speaks to me to help keep kids safe here and there. Uh, I do want to mention real quick, this is called the Morel Color Scheme, which has a leatherette sofa, nice dark color to it, with some uh, sofa color accents here. Um, nice, uh, like, earth tone things going on here. Um, I'm mentioning this because not every 270 LE we carry is going to look exactly like the one in this video. Um, so we will sometimes order different color schemes on our units, and I, I want you folks to get a good look at that so you understand. So, what we're looking at here is a couple things. First of all, this is the only, only wood frame travel trailer that has the cathedral arch ceiling here, like a very high-end travel trailer. Uh, uh, what that means is that it's uh, just, just under seven foot tall at the pinnacle. It means more headroom in the shower, more headroom in those bunks. That kind of stuff adds up and is really worth its weight in gold. Um, the uh, super slide here. This Remember I said the outside kitchen was an update to this floor plan that did not originally exist? This theater seat is another one. This thing is absolutely awesome. So you have dual recliner individual theater seats here that are obviously wall huggers. So if you just want to kick back and zonk out and take five minutes and, and crash here, you can absolutely do that. Um, all of your uh, uh, sidewall windows open for ventilation. And this one opens in a big jealousy style, actually. So does this one. So you can leave them open in the rain. It costs a dollar more for windows that open this way. You also get better airflow as a result. Right between your main sitting areas, they include a handy charging station, uh, twin USB plugs, and a single, I don't know the name for those circle things anymore. I still call them cigarette lighters because that's what they were called when I grew up. Um, you know, with all the anti-smoking campaigns, I think that phrasing has lost popularity, but that's what they are. Anyway, um, big open living space here, lots of sleeping space, and tons of storage. This is an 
an incredibly well planned uh, model. Now, real quick, back to the the detail work that de uh, that defines a Springdale from brand X is they have one sheet flooring. Most manufacturers have four by eight um, sheets of wood on the floor. When you're bouncing down the road, and this does, this is a rolling earthquake. It is. If you're ever curious, spend about 30 seconds riding in a trailer and listen to everything rattle really hard when you're going down the road. It's a violent experience back here. Um, well, those those sheets of wood might bounce, and they might get stuck one on top of the other like that instead of staying flat. When they do that, you're going to see this ugly seam on your floor, and if you step on it, there's a good chance you could split it, especially if this floor is really cold. Well, uh, when it's a one-sheet floor, you just eliminated that opportunity, not to mention the fact it doesn't squeak. That, that uh, wood comes in 8 by 24 foot uh, lengths. That means that there is one seam in this floor. It's located right here underneath this entertainment center. So there's there's so much construction on top of this that they can't pop like I was talking about. Again, it's those little detail things that separate Springdale from a lot of brands. Um, you know, looking at your, you're going to see tons of storage space all over in here. We've got great kitchen storage all the way around. Uh, big pull-out drawer here with two more on the other side of the oven. And uh, while we're getting that direction, I do want to point out the big trash can storage that they leave you down here. They also have a, a giant sink so you can actually wash bigger pots and pans in here. And another one of those detail items. The little support wood that you see right here, that's a number two spruce. It's the second best grade of wood you can possibly build with. It is a superior component used in comparison to the other things in this price point. The reason they use this wood, and this is a good example, you see how this middle screw is dangerously close to the edge? I'm not worried about it blowing out the side of this cabinet because number two spruce has an interlocking grain. Um, so, I mean, the screw just can't rip out the side of it like that. Um, <clears throat> extra countertop space over here and what i like about this is most of us are right-handed most of us you st if you're left-handed you still have a spot like if you're stirring your food to set something over here but most folks are right-handed you're going to stir your food and then set like your spoon or your tongs or whatever over here plus we have a couple handy drawers right here with this is the it's funny someone asked me well where's the where's the toilet paper holder they actually don't mount it because what they were told is that it was always always in the wrong spot so they let you decide where it's going to go. Uh, the refrigerator that we're looking at is 17% larger than the common fridge in this class. This is a 17 cubic foot fridge, not a uh, 6. Um, the, uh, whole, the easy way to tell is if you see these easy little retro style handles, that's how you know it's a 7. Not to mention the fact, like, if you've got arthritis, you don't have to do the you know, secret handshake, twist and pull method, which, I mean, it, admittedly, it's not difficult, but if you've got arthritis, maybe it is. Um, the storage in this area of the trailer is unsurpassed in comparison to anything else I've seen in this class or a similar floor plan. I've seen some manufacturers that'll give you, like, uh, a pantry or one of these wardrobes or just the double wardrobe, but never a massive floor-to-ceiling seven-foot-tall pantry with all of this wardrobe and closet space here. I've never seen anybody else do that. Now, again, details. You see this little white trim around this door? They put that there for your kids because this is next to the bunks. You know, they, they put this panel wood there, they, they cut this out real fast, and it's rough. It's splintery. Now you don't have to worry about stuff like that. Um, the uh, All this storage back here, you see it goes clear under the bunks, and it's, it's you know, I don't have a whole lot of light in there. I'm flashing what flashlight I can but uh, I mean every ounce of storage counts in this thing we have double double bunks two uh, full-size bunks instead of a single over a double to give us maximum sleeping space now notice both bunks have their own lights and windows that do open for ventilation and I'm pointing that out because not every brand has stuff like that and this actually has a surprisingly big bathroom I was, I was a little shocked when I saw it. It's bigger than I expected. Now remember that because this trailer is extra tall, tall guys like me are going to be able to actually stand in this shower. And one of the cool things about this being a Keystone product, even though it's one of their um, family class campers as opposed to their like, you know, Four Seasons campers, is you're still going to get stuff like porcelain stools. They don't stock two stools. They, they, it's easier for them to just stock a nice porcelain than a porcelain and a plastic. Porcelain is non-porous. It's not going to have little holes where, uh, you know, 
bacteria can grow and cause odors and things like that. Now, I've actually gone through, I've only, I've only got like one or two lights on in here. Most of the light that we're getting is just from the windows. That's pretty good. You know, this is a nice bright camper. You're not going to have to burn up your battery all day. Um, the uh, countertops are using in here too. Man, I mean, that is just a super high definition laminate. That is great looking. Um, moving forward here. You see that there is good storage in the entertainment center, and they recently deepened the entertainment center just slightly to give you just that extra bit of storage. When flat screens became uh, more common in campers, their entertainment centers and their storage almost went away. I'm starting to see manufacturers thicken that up a little bit. Um, so you've seen the TV goes inside and outside. The TV does, again, pivot and swivel so that even the guy sitting here all the way against the edge of the slide out, it can turn toward you and give you a good view over here. Your stereo is all in one, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth enabled. So, I mean, it, it does everything. You, you do not need to lug along extra electronics. In case you're curious, this little orange jumper is a satellite prep system, so you can put a little satellite brain in here. We have very good size closets on both sides of the bed. A lot of manufacturers will have as little as like a six inch closet that is really good for nothing. Um, the uh, the way they build this here is you can either put a, a roof mount uh, TV, like if you get a, a little roof bracket or a wall bracket right here and add a second TV station in the bedroom, should you be so inclined. Both sides of the bed have very large bed stands with power outlets, and notice the outlets are up next to your head. So folks with CPAP machines, uh, you know, you won't have to decide if you go camping or sleep good this weekend. You can get both because this is a Springdale. And this is one of the most popular trailers on the market, and it's been that way for many years, and it continues to stay that way because of intelligent designs and features and uh, simple, intelligent reliability things like the little construction items I hit, uh, hit on there. So give us a, a call at 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.